guys, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. How's everyone out there in YouTube land doing? Hopefully well. All right, this is the video I've been so excited to do. Um, I feel like I look totally crazy right now. Look at this horrible pimple. And my lashes are like, oh my gosh, I literally started ripping them off because I'm having another moment where I'm like, I'm done with them. I'm getting too much back into makeup. I'm done. I just look crazy. My spray tan is like, or my whatever tan this is that I put on myself. So I just look kind of crazy. But this is the video that I have been so, so, so excited for us to do. Um, we are going to be talking about, well, I'm going to be bringing you on, I should say, my filler journey. I actually got filler done, if you were not aware, this past Monday for the first time. Um, and I filmed while I was there, so you guys get to see. I didn't hold it, like, exactly properly, so some of the stuff got cut out. Cut out, and I was, like, super bummed, but I did get a good majority. So, what do you guys think I got done? Looking at my face. Everyone's like, your lips, your lips. I posted a picture on my Facebook saying like, oh, I'm so excited, my filler, blah, blah, blah. And um, everyone was like, if anyone knows of any good Amazon extensions, let me know because these ones are like giving me hell and I just got them put in. Um, so anyway, I got filler done. Okay, so I posted a picture on Facebook and I was like, what do you guys think I got done? And everyone was like, oh my God, your lips look so much bigger than usual, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I didn't get my lips done, guys. I think sometimes my top lip swells a little bit because of this piercing and people just then like assume that I got it done, but I didn't. So what I actually got done was my under eyes and they ended up also throwing a little bit of filler, half of a syringe right in this area. So I got half of a syringe on my under eyes and then half right here. And there was like the slightest bit left over and I think she threw it in on this side because this is my left side and she actually said that um, I needed more in here and like she said, which we know with your eyebrows, with anything on your face or your body, they are twins, not sisters, not twins or like what is that saying? You know what I mean. This side was not the same as this side is what I'm saying so it needed more. This pimple's driving me nuts. That's so much better. There, I don't look so crazy. So anyway, um, yes, so I got a half of a syringe of on my under eyes and then half in here. She used the same for both and I think she used Valmera. I want to say, everyone keeps saying um, Juvederm, but I think that she told me they don't use Juvederm on your under eyes because it doesn't settle right. So I think they use like Volmera or something. Um, I need to figure that out. But anyway, so the way this syringe works, I know she used the same type in both areas. It looked like she carried in two different boxes, but she had to have used the same type because she was like putting it in here and then this, what was left, she added up here. So yeah, so she numbed me first. Um, someone told me for have them not numb me because then it, it makes it not settle properly. And I mentioned that to her and she was like, no, it's fine. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna let her do her thing. I really liked her. She seemed to know what she was talking about. So I let her do her thing. And I went to the skin center in Wexford, Pennsylvania. Not that, I don't know if anyone even is in this area, but just so anyone who is in this area knows. Um, so she numbed it, went out of the room for 10 minutes, came back in. 
she actually inserted a bigger needle to like make the incision and then went in with the filler and you can see let me zoom you in like the little like needle pricks okay and you can feel it under my skin i could see a difference immediately when she first did it and then as the day went on even like just hour by hour i would see a big difference and by the end of the night i was like wow i'm in love with this and then the next day i was really like oh my gosh i like this so much like for myself personally because i know what my face looks like i see a huge difference like i can't even believe it i didn't think it was going to be this much and people who are close to me like um like my boyfriend and my parents they also said they could see a difference too maybe not as big of a difference as i can but they could see a difference now the way it works was they do like they always do specials so there was one online for 15 percent off your first visit or like your first set of syringes so i bought the one syringe it they come in half size syringes what i used and she said they will start coming in full size probably the next time I'm, i am to get them um and they recommend that this area is one of the longest lasting areas along with this one but not quite as much because you're smiling but this doesn't really move so she said every nine months to a year but I feel like that's partially them being like, okay, you need to get more filler. I have heard from other people that, especially like if you're young and somewhat still youthful, you could get away with every two years getting it. Now, I don't think I will wait that long personally. I think I probably will go back in nine months because I, I feel like I'm already sick. Like I want a little bit more in here. I know, I do. Um, and in here, oh. So I don't know how long I'll wait and I want some Botox too. But anyway, so for the first syringe it was um, $4.75 and then every additional syringe was half off, which I was like, oh, well I wanted it. Well, I asked for it before she even told me that. And then when she told me that, I was like, oh yes. So I ended up paying, after all was said and done, discount and that I paid $600 total, which I didn't think was bad. So pretty much $600 for one full syringe of Volmera. It's called Voluma. I, th I think that is what it was. I think. So yeah, so 600 total. I did not think that was bad at all. I was totally fine with it. Um, I got a care credit card in case I wanted to get more stuff. So a care credit card is something you can apply for and you can put cosmetic surgery, you could put your vet bill, any type of surgery, anything on it. Um, I had applied for that because I didn't know what all I wanted to get and I ended up, I was like, I'm not even using that. I'm putting it on my regular credit card and just that's fine. That was for if I wanted to get more, which I think I'm going to apply for a higher limit and get, we shall see. But um, yeah, so anyway, overall, I am just so happy with it. So I'm going to insert, insert right here, um, the footage of me at the place. I talk way too much. So here we go. So, okay. Hi guys. Here we are. Jared, say hi. Hi. He's going to be a regular on the station now. So I'm getting the under eyes done and I literally lost my mind and I was like, just throw some extra in here, which I should not be spending this extra money. But I mean, beauty is whatever, pain. That doesn't really go with this, but it also costs money is what I'm trying to get at. So she put numbing gel on. She said she's doing a half a syringe under here and then a half to a hole right in here. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Now, am I able to like put makeup on and like what would you? The recommendation is to wait for 12 hours. Oh. You start over in here. Okay. 
can do just a touch here. Yeah, just adding a little bit right into that <clears throat> medial cheek here helps to just kind of pull the, your cheek back and away from the fold. And chin down a little bit and open your eyes again. I'll do the last little bit, I think, right there. Okay. So you put like is just a full syringe throughout. Basically, what I did is I used two of the velour or the velour, the Valbella. Okay. I'll get it right. It's one of the V's. Yeah. Because we just need a little bit here. And this face, this is pretty superficial. Inch. I'm gonna hold wait a second again while we quickly so what'd you guys think? Oh my gosh, it was just such a good experience. Overall, I was so happy with the place, which I was so relieved because I had heard from a couple people who went there for lips and different things, they weren't really that happy or they didn't feel like they saw a huge difference. So I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I don't know, but I trust the place, so I'm just gonna go. And I ended up being really happy with it. So that was a relief. Um, it was such a cool experience. I, I couldn't be happier. I 100% would get it done again and I will get it done again. So down below, I want to know what you guys think, if you can see a difference, and if you have any any type of work done, what your thoughts and feelings are on that, and that's pretty much it. Head over to my Instagram, my Norvina giveaway ends tomorrow, and then we will be starting another fun one. Let me know if you have any ideas. I think I already know what I'm going to do, but you know I like to hear your ideas. So you know the drill, head to the Insta and check out my makeup pictures and my giveaway. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, love you guys. Bye.